All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a quick video on how to change or test your voltage regulator on an EasyGo gas golf cart. This is a 92 model, but they all have the same power plant. This happens to be a 350cc two-cylinder. If you can notice, it has the ex uh, separate style manifold. The newer ones, it's built into the casting. That's really the only difference. This happens to be your regulator. And let's see, right there is where it lives. If you see this green wire unconnected, that's in the center pole. That is your trigger wire from your generator. With the motor running, you should have a voltage, a battery voltage, or a little bit less because it's spinning the motor. You know, or it's generating a field, whatever it's doing. If you short that out for just a quick second on frame or something, you know, it's not going to hurt nothing for a second, but you should see that voltage go way up. That's basically what your voltage regulator does is it turns on and off really quick to keep the voltage right at about, you know, 13, 14 volts. So what I'm going to do is I have this golf cart up on jack stands, safely lifted and supported. I'm going to set you all up right here on this here tripod. I'm going to put this... Um, voltmeter where y'all can see it. And you can watch the voltage change as I, uh, as I do this. So let me get y'all set where you can watch that. Well, you can kind of see it. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. All right. So you see the green wire over there. You got the voltage. We're at 12 volt resting voltage right now. Battery's a little bit low, and it's kind of cold right now, so I'm going to start motor up. This is not grounded at the moment. I'm just going to tuck it right here so it doesn't touch anything. Voltage should drop to about, you know, 10. You saw how that was jumping up to 17 volts when I would connect that and ground it out. That's how it was running before, which this battery over here got boiled. And it is an old battery anyway, but still. So if you have a problem with your battery sweating, like fluid coming out of it or bulging up or something like that, that's what your problem is. You're overcharging. It's super simple to test these. You just unconnect the trigger wire. And if it's getting, still not getting enough voltage, it's your generator. If it does exactly what this did, you know, no voltage on being disconnected and grounding it out makes it jump to 17 volts, 20 volts, whatever, it's your regulator that's bad. And you literally just swap the part out that easy. And you're good for another couple years till the next one dies. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful to you. Comment, rate, subscribe. Have an awesome day.